Well, I'm not really sitting around. I'm up moving around. Uh, I've been doing something I've been wanting to do a long time. I'm going through all my clothes. I've got a ton of clothes that I never wear. And some of these, they were given to me and I never wore them. They either didn't fit or, you know, I got a bad problem with clothes shrinking on me. I don't know what it is, but none of them fit no more. I don't know, man. Well, it could be the cooking I do. I don't know. But anyway, I've got all these shirts here. Then none of them have stains on them. They're just too small for me, or I don't like them. And then I've got like three pairs of Wranglers, and I and I got some more out in the fifth wheel. They're like brand new. It's just back when I had a 34 inch, 32 inch waist, which yeah, I don't have that no more. But I'm gonna bring them to Jeff's uh, birthday party tomorrow, and if anybody wants them. You know, I'd rather have, we don't have a Goodwill or anything here to give stuff to, so, and I'm not driving an hour to Fort Smith to give them away. We'll make rags out of them. But there's some really good shirts in there. Uh, I mean, if anybody wants them, hey, they're free. And I'm, I'm still got more to go through. Uh, and I'm going nuts because I'm trying to get this place clean, you know, so I can take y'all on a tour. <laughs> I don't even want to show you below. But... I had to just move that air conditioner. I've had that thing for over a year and a half. I thought the one I have in now was going out. Well, let me show you what I what I think was wrong. It would I could see condensation inside this board, and uh, it just quit one day. And no, and it was acting all kinds of goofy. So I figured it died. You know, that's a frigid air. That's a good good air conditioner. And it ain't very, that's only two years old. And uh, here there was a big piece of plastic, thick, that I had to peel off here. And then ever since I've done that, no problems. So I don't, and the problem with this one is it's, this is a 15,000 BTU, it's heavy. I can't pick that up no more. But it, it's on a concrete floor, slid pretty good. So I got it over here. I don't know what to do with it. You know, I've got all this room up in the loft. There, that certainly is not getting up there. So for now, it's in this corner, out of the way. It was in another corner, and I just piled clothes on it and stuff. So I need it out of the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, out of all the clothes I've went through, these are all I'm keeping so far: are shirts. Uh, and that's a pile of rags stuff that's got holes in them old man I got shirts I've had 20 years I ain't kidding you and I don't know if I kept them because I was attached to them or what I also got this really nice winter jacket uh, it's got a nice liner in it my old boss gave it to me because his his wife was a doctor but it's got some kind of doctor stuff medical stuff on there but other I mean to wear around the homestead or whatever Man, this thing's warm. Looks like it's probably waterproof. So somebody can have that too. Uh, if I get anything else, I'll bring it. And we'll just have a little flea market. Only it's free. All right, this little area used to be where the stairs were to the loft up there. And like I said, they were so steep and dangerous. I mean, they were only like six inches deep. You could you couldn't get your whole foot on it. So, I just tore it out. Originally, I was going to put a wet bar here, uh, but I didn't. I put a little cubby hole in. I like a bigger desk myself, but then it's a mess. This is where I do the, do the editing and all the computer junk. Yeah, put some shelves up there. I'm going to change this up a little bit. Uh, I don't know. And then over here is where I built the bar. Now, I think I'm going to be tearing all this down. Because I never use it, man. If I'm going to have a drink, I go outside at the fire pit. But, I, man, I, I put a lot of work into this thing. And it, and it looks nice, but if you never use it, man, that'd be a hell of a closet. Right now, I have nowhere to put any of my clothes. And i uh, got live edge uh, railings on here. I probably got about 10 coats of polyurethane on there. I'd put a coat on, sand it lightly, put another coat. Uh, real smooth. It's dark in here. Let me pull this light a little bit, see if I can. That's coming out. Beer my brother made me. I got all my dog stuff and dog beers. I've only had one. 
dog can't hold its liquor. And that old dog wisdom thing. I'm your huckleberry. And some wood burnings I've done. And over here I got like a little over over the bar. These were old shelves in a pawn shop and I sanded them down real nice and stained them and then polyurethaned them. And then this wood here, uh, they're just regular uh, 1x4s from the hardware store, same as up here. And then I just took a torch and burned them and polyurethaned them. I had all these walls in this and I just, it didn't look right. But I left it in here. I put a ton of work into them. They're $3 a piece. You know, burning them, polyurethane them. I probably spent a thousand dollars on these boards. But I do like how these came out down here. They're a lighter color. And I do want to get a brass railing if I keep this bar. I don't think I am. Uh, and then here's some more. More of the live edge. Shelving I did. Railing, whatever you want to call it. Kind of, kind of made that look like a log. Yeah. See, I put a lot of this cedar in when it was green, and a lot of it shrunk. And, you know, it didn't really have it. I should have put them together all the way, and I did trim down each side, but instead of gapping them, I should have went ahead and put them together. And I later learned how to do it. Uh, yeah, then here, up in there, I got speakers. I got really nice speakers in there. And then I've got my little Bluetooth. Uh, I can put on XM radio and, and it'll come to here from my phone and play my music, which I can't turn on now because of copyright stuff. But you know, there's a speaker in there. And then here I got a I got a light. I was gonna maybe cover that, but I don't know. And the old Route 66 sign. Yep. And then I've got the live edge deal here. I just left it on there. I like I like it like that. I think it looks cool. Uh, then on this wall, I built that shelf. And those are all my dogs that have passed away. I got street signs for all of them. I, I got all the paths up there. Uh, I was going to put street signs on all the walking paths I got. So I got them all different. Why is this blurry? And then the dogs I still got. I think I got Lily Avenue. Rooster Road, Libby Lane, Waldo Way. Man, you gotta have a Waldo Way. Yep. And uh, I just built a uh, TV stand that has wheels on it. It'll pull out. If I get a bigger TV, it'll pull out. This is going blurry on me. I don't know why. And a little shelf that used to be full of movies. Not anymore. I sold them all. Once you watch them once or twice, there ain't no sense in keeping them. Yeah. This piece of coal right here, let me tell you a story. Okay, it's just a piece of coal. Uh, when I was uh, probably four years old, I found that piece of coal by railroad tracks. And I took it to my grandmother and gave it to her. You know, she kept it. Well, next time I went to my grandma's house, I said, Grandma, can I have my piece of coal back? So she gave it back to me. And this must have went on five or six times. Finally, I guess I lost, forgot about it and lost interest. And uh, my grandmother kept that till the day she died. And I just got it, I don't know, maybe two years ago, I just got it back. And so I can never get rid of that. If I died tomorrow and somebody had to come in and clean this place out, they wouldn't know what that story about that piece of coal is, but now you do. So, yep. And I'm 55 now, so that's 50 years it's been, and uh, my grandmother had it. She died in, uh, on September 11th of 15. So I was lucky enough to have my grandmother until I was, I think I was 50. 49 or 50 and most people don't get to have a grandparent that old so that's what the call is just thought I'd share that story <laughs> all right guys